And from the Fed's PPP plan to St. Pete's Fighting Chance Fund, everyone wants to save our local businesses. Owners are making tough choices every single day, just trying to survive this pandemic and open their doors up again. But as Ten Investigates Jenna Bourne explains, some scammers are trying to take advantage of people that are struggling to keep their businesses afloat. When the North End Tap House opened in Gulfport in late January, the live music was flowing and so was the beer. But thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, the flow of customers has run dry and owner Kelly Wright is losing sleep. It's that fear of having put so much time, money and effort into something and then not knowing whether it's going to survive it or not. And I know that there's loans and grants and I mean, I've applied for just about everything I can. It can be easy for small business owners to mistake a bogus grant application for a real offer. The Better Business Bureau says business owners are getting emails, texts and calls that appear to be from the U.S. Small Business Administration or SBA, offering grants for small businesses affected by the COVID-19 outbreak. The fake grant application may involve an online form requesting banking info. Then the business owner is asked to pay a processing fee, which could cost them up to a couple thousand dollars. The important part is for us to be educated about what that looks like and how we should recognize whether it's a legitimate phone call, email or text message um, or if it's from someone trying to scam us. We don't want you to fall for this. So here are some red flags to look out for. Legit government agencies will have websites and emails that end with .gov or .ca. Government agencies don't typically communicate through text message or social media, so be skeptical of unsolicited messages. And a real government agency won't ask you to pay an advanced processing fee for a grant.